If you want to stream, podcast or record gaming videos for YouTube, then one of the first steps is picking up a good USB or XLR microphone. These mics can provide that extra bit of audio quality, noise reduction and control, you need to be a successful content creator, things you won't often find on your standard gaming headset microphone. There are plenty of options on the market, so we tested the most popular USB and XLR mics available to find the best of the best in 2021. And we come with the top 5 gaming and streaming microphones you can get in 2021. All of our choices retail for less than $200, as we're focusing on affordable options for those new to content creation, rather than truly professional grade solutions which can cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars. As always all the links to the mentioned product are in description for more information, and up to date prices don't forget to check them out. Starting our list with Elgato Wave 3. In best gaming microphones our first and best pick is Elgato Wave 3 microphone. That's because this mic is also a virtual mixer, thanks to the Wave Link software, which allows you to adjust the mix of the mic and up to 8 additional audio channels. This is great for streaming because it makes it dead simple to make sure your game audio, your subscriber alerts, your music and anything else running on your PC or Mac sounds properly balanced. This also integrates into the Elgato Stream Deck, either the physical devices or the phone apps, so you can control your audio settings while streaming with a tap, which is neat. Even if you don't need the mixing features, the Wave 3 also performs well as a straight-up USB mic. One of the big reasons for this is the inclusion of a clipguard feature, which effectively swaps the standard recording channel for 120 decibels lower if the mic detects clipping. Both channels run all the time, so swapping between the two sounds natural, and it eliminates a common pitfall for streamers. There's still a 3.5mm jack on the back for zero latency monitoring, which is always nice to have, and the Wave 3 is powered by USB-C. While the software experience is best in class, Wave 3 hardware has been developed cleverly too. A single dial on the front can be pressed in to switch between adjusting gain, headphone volume and the mic PC mix, while a capacitive sensor on the top allows for a one-tap mute, indicated with a clear red LED. There are no different capture patterns here, as on the Blue Yeti, but for recording a single person's speech, this is no problem. The audio we recorded came out clear and distinct, with good clarity in the mid and high frequencies, if lacking a little warmth. As this is a condenser mic, you'll still pick up the clatter of mechanical keyboards if the mic is too far away from your face or the gain level is set too high. Plosives are catered for via an included shield, but a proper pop filter may still be necessary, depending on how much fire you're spitting. Finding the perfect positioning is made easier if you swap the included desk stand for a proper arm mount via the included adapter. Overall, the Wave 3 is a great sounding USB mic that is easy to use and offers some intriguing possibilities for streaming thanks to its anti-clipping and audio mixing features. The mic is more expensive than our previous picks though, at around $160, so you may want to consider the $130 Wave win instead. It offers the same features, only lacking some physical controls and 96 kHz recording, neither of which are significant drawbacks. At number 2 it's HyperX Quadcast. The Quadcast is the second best USB microphone we've found for streaming, thanks to its excellent audio quality and its long list of well-implemented features. There are four recording modes on offer and a physical gain dial, allowing the mic to be adapted for one audio source or multiple voices with ease. Being able to mute your audio quickly can be indispensable, and the tap to mute system accompanied by the entire microphone dimming is the best implementation we've seen. Other handy features include an internal pop filter that ensures P and B sounds don't result in an annoying pop, a shock mount in the provided desk stand, and lag-free audio monitoring. The only real drawbacks are that the LED lighting isn't optional, and the default stand is a little short, so using a proper boom arm or another mount is recommended. Note that the Quadcast S was released in late 2020, which adds RGB lighting, but is otherwise the same. At number 3 it's Rode NT-USB Mini. The Rode NT-USB Mini is a compact USB mic with a short stand, but excellent audio quality for its £100 price point. Rather than offering multiple recording patterns, as with the Blue Yeti, Rode have focused on capturing the best audio they can from right in front of the mic, with recordings typically emphasizing the mid-range in a manner that's pleasant for acoustic instruments or helpfully for us human speech. 
The focus on simplicity means this mic really is plug and play, with no gain knob to adjust or polar patterns to select, and it works on Windows, Mac, Android and iOS over full-size USB or USB-C. The NT-USB Mini does include one very helpful extra feature though zero latency monitoring via 3.5mm, which is great for dialing in your sound before you go live. The included desk stand is quite short, so we do recommend picking up a simple desk mount to make sure your dulcet tones are being captured, rather than the mechanical clatter of your keyboard. Overall, a great low-profile microphone that's easy to use and sounds fantastic. At number 4 it's Blue Yeti X. When it comes to streaming and podcasting, the Blue Yeti series is perhaps the most popular microphone in the world. Whether plunked down on a desk to be held aloft by its chunky stand or held in place on a strong boom arm, the Yeti provides strong audio quality for a range of use cases, thanks to its four different recording patterns. Cardioid, stereo, omnidirectional and bidirectional. The inclusion of a 3.5mm headphone jack means you can also plug in headphones to monitor exactly what the mic is hearing. The Yeti X is the latest addition and includes a new LED volume meter and multifunction control knob right up front, making it easy to adjust gain to dial in the perfect levels on the fly. On the software side of things, the blue voice section in the Logitech G Hub includes plenty of options for adjusting tone and removing annoying sonic artifacts, including presets from popular streamers. The Yeti X is a solid improvement over the standard Yeti, but if you're working to a budget the original model is still worth considering. Blue recently worked with Blizzard to create a World of Warcraft edition of the Yeti X, which adds themed voice modulation, samples and sound effects. The WoW edition also looks great, with runes encircling the base and multifunction wheel. Otherwise, functionality is identical to the standard edition. If you're a World of Warcraft fan or streamer, it's a solid pickup given its small $20 premium over the standard model. Plus, haven't you always wanted to sound like a troll? At number 5 it's Audio-Technica AT2020. The AT2020 is a popular entry-level XLR mic, offering the possibility of extremely clear audio if you're willing to put together the necessary equipment to get it running. All that comes in the box is the mic, a bag and a stand adapter, so you'll need to provide at least an XLR cable, a stand and an audio interface or mixer that provides at least 48V of phantom power. Once all of these components are in place, your reward is warm, crystal clear audio that's ideal for recording podcasts or video voiceovers. It's worth noting that the A2020 is fairly hefty and skews towards professional rather than gamer in the looks department, but that's no bad thing. If you are confused between XLR and USB, the USB mics mentioned will work pretty much out of the box on Windows, Mac OS and PS4 while well, XLR mics will need to be connected to an adapter or interface with a USB output to achieve the same goal. The Xbox One doesn't support USB mics unfortunately. And with that we come to the end of our review. No matter what your tastes, I'm pretty sure you'll find something here that works well for you, and I'm confident you'll enjoy it. Until next time, have fun!